Hey everyone, it's Ant, Martin and Nathan from Referees The Final Whistle Podcast. Now thanks to our sponsor, FindMyKit.com, we've got a fantastic giveaway prize for you. It's a signed Lionel Messi picture. Framed, authenticated, the works. So thanks to FindMyKit.com, you can win it. All you need to do is get yourself over to Twitter, tag at find my kit and also comment the word that you're about to see at the end of this clip that we filmed with Mark Clattenberg. Good luck. Well, one of the things I, I said, class, I want the boys to come in as well here, but I remember you a couple of months ago when we got together in the Leisure Leagues um, headquarters when you're obviously you're a fantastic ambassador for Leisure Leagues. You were talking about a story about Cleaner, you just mentioned him there, giving you some advice about what was going on with Pepe. He picked something up here, Pepe and tactics they were using. Do you remember that conversation? Yeah, that wasn't Pepe, it was uh, Thiago. Thiago, uh, sorry mate, sorry, yeah. He's now at Liverpool and, you know, it was just about understanding football and referees are, have a guilty that, that understand the laws of the game and they know the law, the laws of the game inside out, or the majority do. Um, it, but it's not about, that's not enough anymore. Um, it's not about just knowing the laws of the game, you've got to understand the game. And uh, Pierluigi Kalina made us understand the game and it was Thiago who was the smallest player from Bayern Munich in the first leg of that they were playing Barcelona he was the smallest player and he was blocking players um, PK in particular and um, he showed us six or seven incidents from the first leg when I was refereeing the second leg and it gave us the tools to, 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 to work out how I could solve these issues and where the best referees in the world are the ones that are proactive and solve everything before it happens the ones that aren't the best referees are the ones that are reactive and deal with it. Um, and that's not what makes a good referee anymore. You know, you can deal with penalties, but that comes with criticism. If you give penalties or you give red cards, one team's going to be upset and one team's going to be happy. But actually, if you solve everything before it happens, you keep both, seem, you, you keep everybody happy or you try to, which is always a difficult job as a referee. So Kalina gave us all the, the tools um, and, and as much as he could to be able to understand football. And that's why he was and still is, in my eyes, one of the best referees ever, ever to be um, in, in, in modern football and possibly in any football. He was he was by far the best referee. And I tried to get maybe 5% of his skill sets. I couldn't referee like him. Uh, I know Howard Webb tried to by shaving his hair, but I couldn't be anywhere like him. So I just decided, you know what, I'll try and understand the game of football. And, you know what? It helped us massively in the last few years of my career. And that's why I became so successful. It wasn't because, um, okay, there was a lot of hard work, fitness, and um, my movement was probably one of the best in the world at that time. But um, he made us understand football. And when you get into players' heads, because players will do it to you, once you get into their heads, you become so successful because players are thinking, what's going to happen next? Um, and when you get when you get like that with players, um, your game becomes so easy.